Okay, so welcome back to my Python lecture series. Today, we will be learning about tuples. So, ang, ano ba ang tuple? So, ang tuple ay isang list lang. Para lang siyang list. So, isa lang din siyang collection ng data. Okay, so, anong, anong pinagkaiba naman ng tuples at list? Bakit pa tayo mayroong tuples? So, meron tayong tuples kasi, as we mentioned last time, na ang list, ay mutable. So, meaning, pwede mo i-change yung values ng nasa loob ng list. Ang pinagkaiba, yung tuple, hindi mo pwedeng baguhin. So, immutable ang tawag sa kanya. Immutable object. So, hindi mo pwedeng baguhin kung ano yung laman ng nandoon sa loob ng tuple. So, this is specifically useful for some time kapag meron kang kailangan na data na gusto mo i-access lang or gusto mo na hindi siya mapalitan. Okay, so paano nga ba tayo gagawa na isang tuple? Okay? So, ang tuple, almost the same lang yung syntax niya as a list. Instead of using nga lang a opening and closing square brackets, we use opening and closing parentheses. Okay? So, for example, we have a tuple, tuple1 equals, then lagay tayo ng values inside. So, as same as list, pwede mo lagyan ng kahit anong gusto mo. So, for example, this is a tuple. And then, sineseparate lang natin sila by a comma. So, for example, 5, for example, May, ganyan, 2020, ganon. And to access a value sa tuple, uh, we use the same thing, katulad ng lists. So, we can use uh, print tuple1 ng index. So, for example, gusto natin kunin tong this is a tuple, index 0. So, if we print this, makuha natin na this is a tuple. And also, the same as lists, we can also put this in a for loop. So, for example, for i in tuple 1, we can print i. Okay? So, you've seen this many times before. And what this will do is just to go from, this is a tuple, 5 May 2020, and ipiprint niya yon sa sa ating uh, terminal. And if we run this, makikita nyo na this is a tuple 5 May 2020. Okay? So, today we have learned what is a tuple, ano yung pinagkaiba ng tuple at lists, and paano natin ma-access yung data inside a tuple using indexing and using a for loop. Okay? So, I hope to see you again next time.